welcome to the episode of physical education where we will be talking about judo techniques now let us have a look on a judo how it is played the judo techniques all judo techniques was us are divided into the following groups first is throwing techniques that is neg waza neg waza the throwing technique is a japanese term for a grappling technique that involves off balancing or lifting an opponent and throwing them to the ground throws usually involve a pulling and rotating motion the practitioner performing the throw usually stays balanced on the feet standing techniques tachi waza however regularly when performing the throw both fighters finish on the ground certain throwing techniques called sacrifice throws involve putting oneself in a potentially unfavorable position such as on the ground in order to execute a throw second is standing technique in a standing technique these are performed from a standing position which is further divided into hand techniques foot leg techniques and hip techniques next is hand techniques which belong to the throwing techniques nagewaza group and effectively performed using the hands arms to throw the opponent hand techniques include body drop one arm shoulder throw next is foot techniques foot leg techniques belong to the throwing techniques there are different types of leg throwing the leg throwing techniques includes those sweeping reaping and hooking foot technique include inner thigh throw major inner reaping hip techniques in hip techniques it also belongs to throwing techniques the main mechanism of the koshi waza to get the opponent off balance by pulling or body motion and perform the throw with the help of a hip that is over the hip hip technique includes sweeping hip throw and large hip throw next is sacrifice techniques sacrifice technique is the classification of the technique where the performer lands on their back or the side to throw the opponent in this technique it is further divided into back sacrifice and side sacrifice now what is a back sacrifice back sacrifice is the classification of sacrifice technique and is translated as rear sacrifice techniques these techniques originated from the fact that one opponent drops himself on his back in order to execute the throw next is side sacrifice side sacrifice is the classification of sacrifice technique and translated as a side sacrifice technique these techniques originates from the fact that one opponent drops himself on his side in order to execute the throw grappling techniques grappling techniques in most cases are applied when both opponents are on the ground that is mat as opposed which are applied from a standing posture further it is divided into three types of techniques that is joint locks choking techniques and pining technique what is pining pining technique is one of the groups of katami waza that is grappling techniques these pipes represent different types of hold down techniques when holds another one on his back choking techniques there are three fundamental manners for chokes that is compression of the neck veins which restricts the flow of blood 
and oxygen to the brain compression of the trachea and compression of the chest and the lungs which prevents breathing joint locking joint locking technique is the joint lock technique which includes the joint lock against many joints of the body contemporary judo only involves joint lock technique against the elbow and one can use legs arms and knees to grasp the opponent's joint and bend it in the reverse direction to lock the joint thereby rendering him virtually helpless now let us have a look about judo rules judo is a relatively modern martial art that was developed in japan by professor jigoro kano who was born in kikij near ko in 28 october 1860 adapting many of the traits and techniques of much older martial art jiu jitsu which came around the years in 1532 kano studied under some of the greatest practitioners of the day before developing his own school and exercise that he named judo he began to teach the new martial art in 1882 using a 12 foot by 18 foot mat in a hall and had a total of 9 students at that time since then judo which translates as a gentle way has spread from its japanese origin to become of the most popular martial art around the globe with even vladimir putin being a keen practitioner as a competitive sport it took a while to make waves until the all japan judo championship were inaugurated in 1930 two years later judo made an appearances as an exhibition sport at the olympics in los angeles but it was not until tokyo hosted the games in 1964 when judo became an official olympic sport for men and barcelona in 1992 for women rules of judo judo matches take place on mats measuring 14 meter into 14 meter with a combat area of 10 meter into 10 meter marked out within it judo cars that is the athletes must bow before stepping onto the mat and must bow to each other before and after either practice or competition judo cars must wear the appropriate uniforms that is one that is no more than 5 cm above the ankles and wrist and is tied with the correct style of noted belt bouts last 5 minutes in international competition and are won when one judoka is awarded a pawn if no a pawn is awarded the player with the highest score at the end of the bout is declared the winner if the score are level the match is decided by a period of golden score then if still not resolved the decision of the referee and the corner judges penalties are awarded for the minor or major infringements of the rules four shadows results in the award of a pawn to the opponent as does one makes judo cars must not employ any of the outlawed techniques including attacking the joints other than the elbow punching or kicking opponents touching the opponent's face or intentionally injuring the opponent in any way object of the game now what is the object of this game file there is a deep tradition of eastern philosophy underpinning the martial art as a competitive sport the aim is simply to beat your opponent albeit with honor and grace to win a bout a player must score more points than their opponent with points being awarded for throws or holds and penalties being given 
for various infringements, players and equipments in judo. Judo is competed on a mat or tatami measuring of 14 meter into 14 meter with a smaller 10 meter into 10 meter contest area within that. Judokas must each wear a traditional uniform originated from kimono and other Japanese garments. There must be a durable enough not to easily rip and the arms and legs must be no more than 5 cm above the wrist and ankles respectively when the limbs are extended. A belt must be worn which is wrapped around the jacket and tied with a traditional knot. Now let us have a look on scoring. There are three types of score an athlete can achieve in a judo bout. The pawn is the best in that it results in immediate victory and can be achieved by throwing an opponent in such a way as to make them land on their back. Alternative methods of scoring a pawn include trapping an opponent in an arm hold or strangle hold to the extent that it forces them to submit or embolizing an opponent on the floor for at least 25 seconds. The next best score is Waza Ari which is a half point in that the award of two Waza Ari in a bout at the same as a pawn and hence the winner is declared. Waza Ari is awarded the lesser throws than those scoring a pawn and for embolizing the opponent for less than the time required to score a pawn. The third and holding least weight is Yuko. These are awarded for short embolizing holds and some less effective throws or locks. One score of Waza Ari outscores any number of Yuko while even if an athlete has one score of Waza Ari and many of Yuko one score of Ipan by the other athlete would supersede them all. There are two types of penalties awarded in Judo. Shido that is for minor rule. Infringements and Hansuko make for major rule breaches or for the accumulation of four Shidos. Shido penalties are awarded for stealing tactic, prolonged periods of non-aggression with the first penalty being a warning, the second giving a score of Yuko to the opponent, the third a Waza Ari and the fourth a pawn. Hence, the match and award of Hansuko made to an athlete automatically gives the match to the opponent and if for a major rules infringement rather than for four shadows also results in expulsion from the tournament itself. Now, what about winning the game? Athletes or judokas win a match by either achieving a pawn, gaining two scores of Vazari and hence a pawn or having accumulated more points than the opponent by the end of a bout. If the scores are identical at the end of a bout, a period of golden scores ensures. In this overtime period, the first score of any kind wins an athlete the match. If the scores are still level at the end of this period, the result is decided by the hentai, that is the majority decision of the referee and the two corner judges. Now, let us have a look on one of the judo match. How
Now, let us see how the scoreboards are there in judo. This is the scoreboard which we are seeing. Blue, white, waza, ari, yoko. There should be one or two scoreboards to show the state of play because in judo it is always the highest quality score that wins the scoreboard is laid out left to the right to show the scores like a number looked at in this way the score is 10 to 3 white single was a ari beats the lesser quality of blues 3 yoko the epon score is not shown on the scoreboard because there can only be one upon and scoring it ends the match. Let us have a look on basic judo referee signals. What are the signals the referee use? Upon is the full point. Opponent is thrown on the back with the force or held under control on the mat for 25 seconds. Next, near upon. Throw is not completely successful or opponent is held under control for at least 20 seconds. Yuko Throw is partially successful or opponent is held under control for 15 to 20 seconds. Mat hold begins. Opponent is held under control on his or her back and the time starts. Next is stop. Matches stop temporarily and the time clock pauses. Now the awards in judo. AGU that is African judo, EGU European judo, OGU Oceanian judo, JUA judo union of Asia. Let us see national and international tournaments in judo. That is let us have a look on some of these. First is Olympic Games, World Championship, European Championship, Pan American Games, Asian Championship, Judo Federation of India, Senior National Judo Championship, African Championship, Ocean Union Championship, Pan American Championship, Asian Games, Grand Pex, Grand Slam, World Team Championship, World Junior Championship, European Games, European Junior Team Championship. These all are the championships related to Judo and there are a number of other championships also. Let us have a look. Now, let us have a look on books related to Judo. Modern Judo Volume 1 by Charles Yeko. Modern Judo Volume 2 by Charles Yeko that is again in 1942. Standing Judo that is by Kawaishi. The Principles of Jujutsu by Jigoro Kano in 1913. Contest at the Dojo by Sumitomo Arema from Judo. Japanese Physical Culture 1908. Judo a modern style of Japanese Jujutsu by Sasaki Kiki Saburo, Hungarian. The Fine Art of Jujutsu by Mrs. Roger Watts in 1906. Judo used in military, combat and self-defense training. My Method of Self-Defense by Kawaishi. American Combat Judo by Bernard J. Kosnek in 1944. Combat Judo by Robert Carlin in 1945. Combatives U.S. Army Field Manual 2002. Combatives U.S. Army Field Manual 1992. U.S. Marine Corps Close Combat. U.S. Marine Martial Arts Kill or Get Kill by Lieutenant Colonel Rex Abligate, 1976, Vital Points for Medium Range Combatives, Deal the First Deadly Blow, Dirty Fighting by Lieutenant David Mora Jr., 
सेल्फ डिफेंस बाय वेस्टले ब्राउन 1951 कंबाइंड सेल्फ डिफेंस बाय डब्ल्यू एच घारोड 1906 रेसलिंग वर्सेस जुजित्सो मे 1905 गेट टफ बाय डब्ल्यू ई फेयर बैरिन कोल्ड स्टील बाय स्टायर्स सीक्रेट जुजित्सो बाय कैप्टन एलन स्मिथ शंघाई म्युनिसिपल पुलिस मैनुअल ऑफ सेल्फ डिफेंस बाय डब्ल्यू ई फेयर बैरिन 1915 अमेरिकन Jiu Jitsu by Lane Lenius 1922 Scientific Unarmed Combat by R A Vairamuthu Unarmed Combat by James Hipkiss 1941 Combat to the Art of Self Defense by Bill Underwood So these are the books associated with the game judo Friends here we conclude with our episode on judo this is how judo originated from japan and how it is spread it all over the world these were the techniques how it is played the rules related to this game hope this lecture has provided you enough knowledge about the tournaments championships books related to this the games information thank you have a nice day